Hello, this is kind of a continuation of my last video. Um, Matt said he wanted to see me drive it in the open, and I'm down here doing that, so I thought I'll take a video. I haven't really changed anything, I've just sort of strapped everything down a little bit so that it doesn't bounce around too much. Um, one thing I just thought I might mention that I thought was quite clever is that there's not really any good way to mount these Pro Minis. Um, there's, they're too small to drill holes in and put screws on and stuff, but I found that you can use the uh, headers that you might normally solder onto a breadboard and I found I could screw those onto the chassis there and then I can plug the Arduino into there and it's fairly sturdy. You just have to make sure you don't plug it in across the um, the positive voltage and ground though, of course otherwise nothing will be happening at all. Um, so yeah we're down here by the Tamagawa this is about the only place I have close by, but fortunately it is very close by, so uh, this is where I'll be doing most of my testing and checking stuff. And <coughs> the grass is extremely wet, unfortunately, so I think I might go over there where it's a little bit less wet. Okay, I'll try it here. Actually, there was one thing I changed uh, that was, of course, to reverse the throttle, which was backwards. And I also changed the program so that if there's no signal coming from the radio for one second, the throttle will return to the middle position and the steering as well. Um, okay, I'm not sure I'm going to do this. There you can see this is the first drive because the uh, tyres are still perfectly clean. See? Proof. Um, this thing here is for the LiPo battery checker, which I forgot to bring. So I won't be running too long, but so there's no there's no radio on at the moment. If I turn the radio on, now we have some steering, and if I hold the hold the steering to the left and turn the radio off you'll see that it reverts to the center, center position all right let's see if this is gonna actually drive all right there it goes and I <laughs> I'm only controlling the steering at the moment I'm holding the camera with the other hand in fact, in one respect, having the throttle fixed like that is quite handy. Well, that's about all I can do while I'm holding the camera, and I don't really have anything to um, prop it up on. Oops, stopped. Okay, we have a problem. Not sure if something came loose or what, but... Uh, See if I can fix it. Well, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, I just turned the Arduino on and off again, and it seems to be all right. I'll just put you on the park bench so that I can drive a little bit more normally, and I'll just drive around for a little bit. Seems like it doesn't go from reverse into forwards, or from forwards into reverse very well. 
and it doesn't like doing this either. Okay, did that time. But now I can't go backwards. I can only go forwards. That's weird. Now I can go backwards. <laughs> I think um, it may be that uh, I had a problem before where the voltage to the Arduino was going too low so it would keep resetting. But I'm using a separate battery pack for that now so I'm not sure what the issue is this time. But it's kind of the same issue. Get off. Don't go there. God. Yeah, once I start going backwards it's hard to go forwards and vice versa. Well, after driving around a little bit more I've noticed there's a couple of problems. One is that the steering doesn't really want to go back to the neutral position. I don't think it's a radio issue, it's just a problem with the mechanics of the, uh, the steering servo and stuff. Uh, the other problem was the mount that I was just boasting about before where the Arduino plugs into the breadboard header things keeps falling out. I'm not sure if that's what keeps resetting it or what, but uh, every now and then it just sort of stops. But it's not too bad. Oh, and the other problem is that the suspension is terrible. It's bouncing around like crazy. So it either needs softer suspension or um, a bit more weight in it, maybe. So I came over here where the uh, ground is a little bit more conducive to doing that kind of thing and I've just been driving up and down this road basically to about as far as I'm comfortable with and just making sure I can still control it and stuff it's probably only about 60 meters to the uh, end of that road there and on this camera that I'm using it's just my phone so you probably can't see the car already at this point it'll be like four pixels on your screen maybe but uh, yeah, I think as far as the radio transmission goes, it's a success. See, I can't even hold it straight. It's just wagging around like crazy. But that's good fun. And I figured out the problem, mostly figured out the problem with, I don't know, we stopped, completely stopped again. That is weird. Seems like you need to hold the throttle at the middle position just, just for a moment before you change between reverse and forwards. Nope, completely stopped again. Oh well, I think I'll wrap up the video here, and thanks for watching. See you in the next part of this series.